What's up everybody, this is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. If you want more, stick around for a step-by-step walkthrough. Today we're going to show you how to spice up your header in your site pages. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra, careful with my hands cause I gotta use them forward. Okay, let's get that timer rolling, let's get into it. First thing you can do is hit that gear icon, we're gonna go to change the look, and you're gonna click on header. From there you're gonna take a look at layout, boom, 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 changes, theme, boom, 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 changes. You can even add an image with extended layout, or we're gonna go down to display, turn the title on or off, you can upload a thumbnail for search, a thumbnail for your site, and you can change how the logos align. Boom, you did it. You did it. All right, now stick around. We'll slow it down. We'll give you step by step and talk about some of this crazy stuff that we did uh, with our header section. Now, before we do that, please, if you would be so kind, hit the like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is available. So let's dig into it, folks. All right, so. I don't know, I don't really care for this right here, um, but I was clicking so fast, I got so carried away. So here, let's just start back from the beginning. Let's say you're like, oops, uh, I don't really like this, so I want to adjust it, or I want to make it more snazzy. So you're going to hit that gear icon, and then you're going to go to change the look. And we're going to go into the header section. Now we've got some different areas. we got layout, we got background, we got display. So let's look at each one of them in a little bit more detail. We have the minimal layout. There you go. That's what you. That's what it looks like. If you wonder what it looks like, that's what it looks like. And then we have standard, which is this is what you get out of the box when you create a brand new, in this case, uh, communication site, right? And then we have the compact, which I believe is going to squish things down a little bit uh, vertically and horizontally. So it's just going to squish things a little bit. Um, and then we have the extended so this gives you the one thing about extended is it gives you an opportunity to put an image in the background here uh, in this space so I'm gonna go back to standard just you know go back there and then we have the background so do you want uh, you know color here you know well this is uh, transparent and we got the gray shade and whatever your theme is some different shades of that theme color let's see if we still have the background with the okay we still have the background color here if you want if you don't want to put an image back there with the extended okie dokes so continuing on down we're going down to the display section you can turn the title of your page on or off uh, I don't know why you'd want to turn it off but you can if you want and then we have the logo thumbnail for searches so this is going to be your uh, thumbnail that pops up when uh, on search cards and things of that nature. I really wish it would show. It's it's showing up behind here, but yeah, you're going to have to trust me. And then this is your site logo itself, which is this up here. Uh, and you can change that if you want. And again, just to review, if you are an extended, you can go a, a, an extra step and put an image here in the background. So there you go. Those are all the things you can do to spruce up your header in a SharePoint communication site. Hope this has been helpful. Remember, do the very best you can with what you got, and SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time.